Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you all the things that I picked up this week from the thrift store and we'll also be going through all of the things I will be doing to each item. I also wanted to share a few tips when it comes to purchasing items to know if it's worth your money or not. Okay, so let's just get started with some of the things that I found. Um, I thought these were super gorgeous. I was actually looking for something for my bedroom. So I found these on Monday and then I just found these ones today. And I am just gonna decide which ones I'm gonna want. Cause I don't know if I want it to be really fancy or if I want it to look more plain like this. And whichever ones I don't use, I'll probably just end up selling. These ones were a dollar, these ones were a dollar fifty a piece. Um, okay, and then moving on to, I found this today, you guys. I am obsessed. This is like, this is the best like vintage find I have ever found at the thrift store. It definitely needs to be cleaned. I was debating if I was gonna paint it or not because I am gonna keep this. Anytime I find a little clock or any kind of clock really that's wooden, I always will pick it up. I just feel like those are really, really cute decor pieces and for like a couple dollars, that's definitely worth it. Okay, I just knocked those over. I picked this up for a dollar and I'm definitely going to paint this and give it a chippy look as well. Um, I do not have any, like any little treat dishes, so I'm just gonna leave this as it is. And then I will be painting this white and distressing it. Same with these little bunnies. So look just how, this was 50 cents, but I feel like these are so cute. Um, just as little pieces for decor, obviously for Easter, but I'll be painting those as well. This is kind of random, I have weights back here, but I have been working out a lot at home, and anytime I find weights, these are five pounds, so 10 pounds total. Typically, weights are a dollar a pound. That's like the rule of thumb, and these were two bucks for the two of them, so that was definitely worth it. Bless my mom's heart. I cannot believe she found this, and I am so excited to paint this. So she found this at the thrift store this week and gave it to me. And it is an advent calendar. Like, look how cute, but I am going to be painting every little block. This is gonna take me a while, but this is something I'm going to, you know, bust out my paints. And not just like, I'm not just painting it all white. I'm actually going to paint like little things on each of them, but just so it matches my, our decor a little bit better. Cause that's just a little bit too bright. And these all work, like it's just magnetic. I just think that's the cutest thing ever. This big, huge container back here, I'm going to paint. This is something else I'm definitely keeping. I think I will be putting logs in it and put it by our fireplace. So that's kind of my idea when I saw this. This was only $3 and it is huge. Okay, then I got these trays. They were two for three bucks. So I got both of them for $3. Now this is something I won't be keeping. How I kind of base it off is if I can make at least three to five times what I paid, then it's worth my money. Now I say three to five times because it just depends on what it is I'm buying. If it's a big piece of furniture, as long as I can get three times my money worth, then I think it's worth it. And then if it's something little like this, then I say like about five times. So I know I could sell these, probably the two of them once I've painted them, for between 20 and 25 bucks for the for the two of them, so three bucks, that was definitely worth it. Here's the back side of this, like how cute is that gas can? I love it. Okay, and I forgot to show you this. This is the last thing, and I love it. I was like, look at this vintage tray. And then I looked on the back and it was from Walmart this year, so it's not what I thought, but I still think it's cute. <laughs> All right guys, well I think I'm just going to get to painting these things and if you wanna see how they turn out, then just stick around for the rest of the video. Is there a place with sun all year round And pina coladas With pretty faces and sand on the ground Now some other tips I wanted to share with you guys when it comes to painting or choosing a paint color for items you want to sell. Always go with either white or like a cream color if you want your item to sell fast. If you don't care to sit on it for a while, you can paint it whatever color you want but it is a fact that if it is a white color or a lighter color, then there is a much higher chance of your item selling. White and tan and beige, those colors will go with anybody's decor 
in anybody's home. Another reason I am using this color for a lot of my personal items is just because this really matches my home. I have a lot of things painted in this color and so all of the decor pieces just kind of go together. And of course I always will say if you have paint, use that first because that'll help you just save that much more money. For a few of my items, I will be using milk paint in the color proper. I have a better explanation in a video of how to use milk paint if you are unfamiliar with that. So just check out this link right here or it'll be linked below in the description box. Okay, I didn't show you this at the beginning of this video, but this is something I showed in a previous video of a furniture piece that I found that I wanna put my record player on. So I paid $10 for this, and I'm just going to give it a nice coat in the color proper with that milk paint. So I wanted to wait till I was using milk paint again, since it is kind of a process of mixing it up. Um, but while I have it mixed up, I thought today would be a good day to finally get this taken care of. Now I'm just going in with my lint-free damp washcloth and this is how you wet distressed. You do not need to scratch up everything with sandpaper. This is a much easier and effective way to get that really nice distressed look when you're using chalk paint or milk paint. Second hand I felt a bit forgotten not your plan, but now the days of silence outgrow the fun things we have done. But tell me, do you want to carry on? Plants don't grow without water, and they cave when it's cold. We Alright, here is all of the pieces finished. I'll start with this one right here. I decided to put a throw blanket in here and we will be keeping this by the fireplace just because this is a blanket we use a lot out there. And instead of just throwing it on the couch, it'll stay in this cute little wooden container. Then moving on to this cute little glass vase. I already told you guys I'm just leaving this as it is. And then I will be placing both of those above my bed. I would show you right now, but I'm going to have my husband do it when he gets home. And I wanted to get this video up today. So stay tuned for the next video if you want to see those up. Here is how this cute little chippy clock turned out. I didn't end up distressing the bunnies just because I didn't do a dark undercoat. 
So if I were to distress it, it would just show the light color that it already was. So that's why I decided not to do it with those. Here are the other two candlesticks I was debating between hanging these above my bed or the other ones, but I think the fancier ones will go better with my decor. So I will just be listing those for sale. This cute little vase, I think I will put this next to my record player and I will show you that here in just a second with that whole piece, how that turned out. And then I have these two trays. And let's see, let me get one down. You can just kind of see, they're really distressed. I put a top coat on these. Whoever decides to buy these will definitely be putting stuff on top of them. So you always want to make sure anything that you're going to be touching a lot has a top coat on it. So that's how those two turned out. And here is how this cute furniture piece turned out for my record player. I love it. I love that I use this color and it really does go with the rest of my furniture in our living room. I did end up just leaving the gas can the color that it is and I think it'll be really cute either on my front porch or using it as a decor piece in the summertime and Christmas. I think that, that pop of red will just be really, really beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. If you have not yet hit that subscribe button, make sure that you do that. And as always, we will see you in the next video.